Hi, we're going to take a look at how to use sample student in Seesaw to test a journal activity that you might want to try or an activity post. So we're going to come into our Seesaw class here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll add a student work piece. We'll maybe quickly give this some background color for fun. There we go. So now here's our post and I'm going to click on the green check mark in the top corner. And I'm going to click sample student and then click the check green check mark, mark again. I have my post set to um, force me to choose a folder. So I'll pick a folder and now there it is. So when we come and look at our posts down here, you'll see that this one is only for the sample student. So I can get a good look at what that looks like. If I come to the sample student folder over on the right hand side, there are only the sample student posts. So I can see all those. Now we're going to take a look at what it's like to assign a sample student an activity. So we're going to go to assign activity. And we'll just pick one here. All right, so I'm going to assign this activity. We'll like this one and I'm going to now here's the, the important part. I'm going to pick edit students and I'm going to click that little box beside all students. Just click on sample student. So we can see that's the only student selected. Click on the green check mark. You can see here it just says one student. So that's exactly what I want. So it's just testing. It's not going out to everybody. I'm going to assign it to that class. And now I'm going to view it in my class. And so there we can see it. Now I can go one step further. I can also add a response as a sample student. So there it is. I'll click sample student. So we'll just put a little content in here real quick just to show what this will look like if your sample student did it. There we go. We'll move that around and we'll go up and we'll click that check mark again. Done. One thing we want to do again is note that this is just the sample student. We can see what it looks like. We can get the feel as the student of doing the activity. We can make sure all of our instructions are working, that everything's good there. Then a uh, great thing to do is come back to the activity and I love to click on this uh, bar and there it shows me the thumbnails. And so you can see sample student is the only one there. And that's a great way to check who has completed your activity.